I'm Lorenzo Savioli. I'm the director of the Department of Control of Neglected Tropical Diseases in WHO Geneva. Uh, I've been working on neglected tropical diseases and parasitic infections for most of my career, first as a clinician, then involved in public health, mostly, mostly in East Africa, and um, that's been my, my dedicated life for, since the very beginning. I, I think being on, on the advisory board, I think it's been for me a pleasure and an honour to be on a board of, uh, of a distinguished group from, from Scotland. I myself have my daughter, is a, is a, a Scottish now, she's been graduating from, from the university in Glasgow itself and uh, uh, I appreciate uh, uh, the fact that Scotland has a tradition in, in tropical medicine, it goes back the, uh, a very long time. Uh, more specifically on the issue of the goals that have been set by WHO, the fact that we have this group of partners coming on board and, and uh, this is a distinguished group of partners coming from Scotland on board and I, I think it's very important because the commitment of the private sector that we have seen uh, scaling up in the last uh, uh, 10 to 15 years in donating uh, now what is now about uh, two billion uh, dollars uh, of drugs every year for treating most of the diseases we have in front of us it's not the end in itself these drugs now are donated but we need money for distributing the drugs for monitoring the impact that these programs have for evaluating their impact also in terms of disease uh, progression or regression as it should be and especially in developing the capacity of countries to lead the control of these parasites and possibly the elimination of some of them. So we need new strength, new forces, new groups and we do not think that only the public sector can solve these problems. We believe in WHO that uh, NGOs and uh, uh, distinguished groups like uh, the one I'm honoured to be part on the board is, is what we really need. People that are committed, that uh, invest financially in in, in, in seeing the commitment of the private sector and the public sectors with countries at the centre of these programmes is what we want to see and we hope uh, people will, uh, will be, uh, respond to the call uh, and uh, support financially the programme so that countries in, in the developing world can eventually reach the goals uh, that we have uh, called the world to together with um, many partners around the world. We need to do more. We have in the list of the diseases WHO has set, of course the uh, NTD um, agenda is an open-ended group of diseases, a very large group. We have selected 17 and out of these 17 we have a few that really could be uh, eliminated or eradicated by 2020, by this uh, deadline of uh, 2020 that is coming very soon and, move, and time pass fast. Um, we believe that uh, a billion people can be uh, prevented from the effects of these infections. And one element that is quite uh, frustrating for us is that uh, we have a lot of success coming, but it's, not under, it's only under the, uh, the radar screen, it's not seen. And uh, the, this has had an impact on the finances available to tackle these diseases. Uh, funny enough, the, the public is not aware, but the private sector has responded uh, with the donation of drugs. For, uh, for treating the disease. Now we need the public, the people, the uh, communities the, um, uh, to respond by putting their own uh, efforts, their own resources to assure that these diseases are controlled or eliminated by this date of 2020 and we hope this will be done uh, uh, with the necessary commitment we expect.